Views and opinions expressed on this talk show are those of the talk show hosts, the producers, and or persons appearing on the program and do not reflect the views and opinions of the SVP network. This program may include strong images and language and may not be suitable for all audiences. Viewer discretion advised. I'm going to be looking good, smelling good, living good, and riding good. If I tell you to get your ass about the projects, you shouldn't be there in those six, seven, eight, nine, ten, twenty 10, 20 years. But your church and, and many of your communities not giving back to the community. When you hit the streets and you want to talk about you want to ride, you're just going to have your own damn neighborhood. Just when you thought it was safe, it is absolutely, positively not. And good April the 4th to you. I am the one and only. I'm Thaddeus Matthews and welcome again to Steel, the most controversial, the hardest hitting, the most informative, the most provocative, even sometimes humorous television talk show in the world. Where we tell it exactly like it is, serve it up with no chaser don't tolerate the bullshit at all if you are easily offended by truth you don't want to hear truth you want to hear the same old pleasantries pleasantries you want the same old feel good speeches then you're in the wrong place and i urge you right now to change your station because tonight i'm i'm going to be on the same path that i'm on every night on this show to be six o'clock, to be straight up and down and tell you exactly like it is and not give a damn about how you feel about what I say. Whether you're the white man, whether you're the black man, I don't care what kind of man you are. Know ye the truth and the truth shall make you free. There is no freedom of the mind, no freedom of the body until truth takes place. Hoping that you had a simply marvelous weekend, no matter what it was that you did, whether you were out working or whether you're one of the fortunate ones who could just sit back and take your leisure. Thank you so very much for joining me on this afternoon on the Extraordinary Talk Show in the city. Talk show hosts were saying on their program on last night, and I, I throw no shade on nobody. Do what you do, be the best at what you are. But I, I was listening to a talk show host who said that I don't do anything that's going to destroy anybody's lives. Well, damn, you be good then. I will destroy you if you come against the truth. If you come against people in this community, if you are a politician, if you're a preacher, if you are a business person and you are dispensing chaos and evilness on our people, you're disseminating information that is not truthful and educational to our people, I will destroy your ass. I have no problem saying that. If you are a black business and you want black folk to do black business with you and spend their black dollars with you and you mistreat them or me, I will call your ass out. If you are a black politician and you're not treating folk right, you, you're running with the agenda of the people or you're running with the agenda of the power brokers, I'll call your ass out. Ain't scared. Ain't scared. And, and, and in these times and in days like, boy, give me a little ad in here because I, I feel myself already on a Monday evening. In these days and times, we can't go along anymore with these weak back folk that want to be on TV and, and, and radio, and, but you don't want to tell the truth. You just want to be on TV and you just want to be on radio to look good and, and to make your money. Yes, I'm going to make my money. 
praise God. I'm going to make my money. But in this, in this platform that God has given me, it calls for more than just me making money. It calls more for me than just me being popular, but to popularize the truth and serve up truth on a platter. In fact, serve it up as a buffet each and every day. So to you talk show hosts in Memphis that want to do what I do, pay the dues first. Pay the dues. Then you can do what I do. See, I don't have, look, I don't have to kiss a politician's ass in this town. I don't never have to bring a politician on this show because I can do what I do. I don't give a damn about what a politician in this town thinks. I don't give a damn what some crackerjack ass preacher think about the truth. I don't give a damn what a businessman or anybody else thinks about what I say as long as I know that what I'm saying is the truth. And that's what it's all about. This is April 4th. And uh, this is the day that the life of Martin Luther King was taken. I am not doing a Martin Luther King show. Help me through here. I'm not doing that. I wouldn't get out and I ain't gonna, I ain't gonna never march with none of you Negroes because all you Negroes want to do is march and you don't want to do anything when you get through marching. All you want to do is meet to figure out when we're going to have the next damn meeting and we have not gotten any results in the black community yet from a damn meeting that's taking place. See, because see, the thing that you need to understand when we start talking about this day and we start talking about the death of MLK, Understand a white man may have pulled the trigger, but it was them handkerchief head niggas that was hanging around him, the bitty cows, them Negroes, and the Jesse Jacksons, them Negroes were the niggas that was responsible for the death of Martin Luther King. See, they never could have got to Martin Luther King if it hadn't been for the Negroes, the, the handkerchief head, the jealous ass niggas that was around him that wanted to take his place. They wanted the spotlight. Them niggas, them the niggas that, 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 that caused the death of MLK. Don't, don't, you mad at the white man. You, you want to be mad at the FBI. Yes, he probably pissed them off talking about the war in Vietnam. But of them ignorant ass niggas that was around him, if you want to know why your community right now is in the shape that it's in, it's some ignorant ass niggas that y'all keep on putting in office. Woo, Taddy, don't you start on a Monday like that. Yeah, 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 yeah. Them, them niggas that's black. Because see, niggas, the, the, you, you, uh, uh, white folk, because see, some of y'all niggas too, uh, nigga is a, is a frame of mind, but you show sure enough dark skin niggas. It was them niggas. It's those niggas even right now. Did I go see Billy Cows? Or Je I wouldn't go across the street to see Billy Cows or Jesse Jackson. Hell no. And any of you niggas that went you crazy as hell, what has Bitty Cows done for black folk? What has Jesse Jackson done for black folk? What has any of these ignorant ass niggas y'all keep putting in office doing for you? You still poor? You still broke? You still being miseducated? So what? All, all you want to talk about is I have a dream. Damn it, it's time for black folk to wake up. How long you, you niggas going to keep on dreaming? I, ha I have a dream. I've been to the mountain. Hell, I ain't trying to go no damn mountain top. Hell, you might fall off the mountain. What you doing down here in the valley for poor folk? You ain't did a damn thing for Martin Luther King because you named a street after him. You Negroes got excited when they gave him, what, a block, two blocks? Didn't even give him a mile. I don't think they gave him a mile downtown. You Negroes got excited, but you're still broke. You're still poor. The education of our children ain't worth a damn in Memphis and Shelby County. The job rate is bad. 
homelessness, hopelessness is just as bad. And you Negroes, I have a dream. Nigga, wake up. Smell the coffee. So I ain't, you know, no, no, no. Somebody called me today. Wanting to know. If I raise money for Janice Fully Love taxes, hell no. If Janice was sick, maybe. But I'd be damned if I raise a dime. A politician who has not paid their taxes. You make thirty-two thousand dollars a year as a city council person, and you got old folk in this town that's losing their house. They don't get but seven, eight hundred dollars a month, and they got to figure out uh, how they're going to pay their taxes. The devil is a lie. I don't give a damn if she sleep outdoors under a damn tent. Hell no. Hell no. And the lady come, I respect the lady that called, man, and I like her. Janet's the only one fighting for she ain't fighting hard enough. I don't, I, don't, I don't hear the words coming out your mouth. I hear you being politically correct on some issues. And you emotionally rise some of these Negroes in town just like the preacher does on a Sunday morning as he's sticking his hand into your pocketbook. But I ain't raising no money for no damn politician. What's going on? Who are they helping? L let, me, let me share something. This TV show. Somebody said maybe the casinos will take up an offering. She's certainly giving them a lot of money. <laughs> okay, all right. This show. The Thaddeus Matthew show has done more in the last month to help folk than any black politician I know. Any black Church, I know. You have you, and you may not be a member of nobody's church. But a lot of money has been raised. That's what the Thaddeus Matthew show about. I, I, I don't need no four walls and a, a pool pit on a Sunday morning because I'd pack it out. Boy, I, don't y'all get me started. I'd pack one out. Because y'all come at least once to see if I can preach. But if you listen to this show, you know I can preach. See, it's the same way I act here. This is the way I act on a Sunday morning. Real. This show. How come no pastor say, let's bury Veronica McGee? Where's your big preachers at? Don't even worry about the mother folk that made me mad. And, and, and I forgive them and count it all. I, you know what? I count it all joy. And, 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 and I can say, Father, forgive them. Because them niggas ain't know what they do. But I believe in the giving process. You reap what you sow. Be not deceived. God is not lying whatsoever a man so that show you also yeah, I, I need some I need something put on the shelf I need some blessings and lay away mm -hmm. I, I need to be able to go to the shelf and, and, and pull off some blessings mm. 
you 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 raise, you give to the building fund every every Sunday. Been giving to the same building fund 50 years, 30 years. They ain't bought a damn donut. This show, this show, Veronica McGee fighting lupus for the last 12 years of her life. It deteriorated her body. She leaves her two-year-old daughter in the hands of the daughter's father and the child ends up dead. I keep telling you women, you be careful of the men that you lay down and have babies with. It ain't always the strange man that's raping and killing his daughter. Sometimes it's the dad. Child falls down the step with a belt around the neck. Come on, picture that. Picture, can, you, can you picture that with me? How does that happen? Two years old. But you got other bruises mm, on the body. Child dies. Last Tuesday, that child was funeralized. Buried. Wednesday morning, that mother, 27 years old, her heart stops three times. Three times. Three times. And then she dies. Was, was it lupus? I, I, I doubt it if it was the lupus that did it. I think it was the broken heart. The thought of here I was in the hospital and I left my baby in the hands of my baby's daddy and my baby died. My baby was killed by her own father. You know that woman blamed herself. How come when I got the call from the friend, the friend didn't call no pastor? Frankie Ray didn't get the call. Ed Stevens didn't get the call. Milton Hawkins didn't get the call. You pastors with these mega churches, they didn't get the call. They call a little old talk show host who has said, go and bury your mama in the backyard. I wasn't getting involved no more. But that voice spoke to me, y'all. That voice spoke to me and said, didn't call me Thaddy Bear. Didn't even call me Thaddeus. But I recognized the voice of God in my ear. How are you going to let your heart be hardened? Because somebody took advantage of you or mistreated you. 
You still did what you said you was going to do. You, you buried that child. You're not responsible for the ignorance of the parents or the family or the friends around. You did what you said. That's what you was required to, you were required to do. You kept your word. You did what was in you to do. So the rest of it, release it and let it go. Don't be mad over that. I'll take care of them, but I have established you. I've gave you so much influence that you can't go nowhere that don't nobody know you. Even the white peoples know you. I've given you that power. I've given you that authority. Do you think that I gave it to you just so you could have it? Don't worry about the pastors because you're pastoring. You may not have four walls, but look at the congregation that I've given you. Some of them are angry because of what happened to you. Release those who may be angry for what the folk did to you. Tell them it's okay. But I got to tell you all tonight, it's, it's okay. It, it's okay. We got to move on beyond that. We got to move on. Don't let it harden your heart. And I, I, I and I found myself, Lord, return unto me the joy of thy salvation. Some of you made pledges and you didn't keep them. I told you I needed $7,000. We got a little bit over three. In a day, we got a little bit over three. But some of you have hardened your hearts because of the last incident. Forget about the dream. Let's deal with the reality of, of some of the things that our f families are going through. No, she didn't have insurance and probably with the disease that you have is probably hard to get life insurance. I told his mother, I'm going to let you grieve peacefully because I'm going to raise the $7,000. I need Forty people to give me one hundred dollars. Thirty nine, cause the first hundred is mine. I need thirty nine people to give me one hundred dollars. I need 39 of you to, to say that I'm going to help this family. Forget about those who may have pledged and didn't keep you. I ain't going to call your names. If you, if you, I got all of your names that didn't give, but I'm going to let your conscience deal with that. I'm going to let your inner you. I ain't going to call your name out.
but I need it. This young lady's funeral, some of them kept their pledges, some of y'all didn't. Now you know I know your names. On the other mishap, I don't want to even call it a mishap. When we helped the other young lady, we had $10,000 in a couple of days. I know some of you had to get paid. I need 39 people to give me. Or if you want to give more, if some of you pastors that are watching me right now, somebody 219-1029, why your bitch ass never give, you just talk about it. Sir, if you realize how much I give, and it's above your pay level, because somebody with a great pay level wouldn't even address me like that. But y'all call 219-1029 and ask them how much they're giving. I need 39 more people because the first 100 is mine to do that. You want to be proud of Martin Luther King? You want to do something on his day besides walk and march and talk? Then do what Martin would have done. A march ain't worth a damn. You're singing, we shall overcome. What the hell that mean, y'all? You have not overcome. You have not cleaned up your communities. You have not educated your, your communities. We're still walking off from our sons and our daughters. We're, we're not raising our young men. We're not raising our young women. Wednesday night, I'm doing a show. On Wednesday night, Are thuggish girls worse than thuggish boys? That's going to be the conversation on Wednesday night. And I know many of you took your... your I got a list of those of you who took it to the funeral home. I, I know those of you who did. Um, is that Shelly Rogers at 219-1029? That's who that phone goes to at 219-1029. Shelly Rogers, you a female or is Shelly Rogers a boy? What if it was you, Shelly Rogers? What if it was your child? You probably ain't got no insurance either. Shelly Rogers. Huh? Uh, Gerald. Why you feel like that, Shelly Rogers? Uh-huh. How can people be so evil? Huh? Shelly Rogers. We're sorry, your call cannot be completed as dialed. Please check the number and... Oh, 219. <laughs> you, you don't want to talk? Unplug it. All 
I got one $100 donation. I'm going to do this. Since you want to commemorate you, Martin Luther King, uh, superior staffing. Some of you made pledges and you couldn't, then don't make nothing that you can't keep. You know you can't keep it. You can take it by N.J. Ford and Sons Funeral Home or you can take it or bring it by my office, 3385 Airways Suite 133. If I am not there and if, and if Daphne has not gotten there, uh, there's a slot in my door like so many of you did on Saturday and put it there. I need this money. I need this money. We're almost at our goal. And you can help us. I'm not fascinated by marching and protest. I ain't marching for nothing. I ain't going to get my legs tied, my knees tied, marching. What is the results of our marching in our neighborhood? We're going to get ready to take a commercial break. You've got my number. Text me your pledges. Let's do it for this mother who died of a broken heart. Because like many of you as women, you don't give a damn what you lay down with. Y'all don't. Some of y'all don't. Sandra and Ernest Washington, thank you. You don't. You lay down with anything. And how a man can kill his own child. It befuddles me. It, 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 how do you do that? How do you take the life of your own child? Especially when you know that that mother is sick. She's battling for her life in the hospital. How do you as a man put yourself in that frame of mind to be that cruel, to be that evil? You got to be demonic to do that. Also, I want to let you members of the United Supreme Council know before I go to commercial break. And I received the, um, and that's the Masonic organization. I received a call that you have been told that the lawsuit, my $10 million lawsuit against the United Supreme Council and Fred McWilliams has been taken care of. No, it has not been taken care of. Even though Fred McWilliams may have promised Arvin Glass and some others that he could get me locked up for a period of time and the lawsuit wouldn't take place. And neither Fred nor the United Supreme Council responded to the lawsuit. Under the lawsuit, you have 30 days by law <clears throat> to respond. Today, my lawyers filed for a summary 
judgment. So I want you to understand, Fred McWilliams, that you don't even know who I am and whose I am. Do you wouldn't play these games with me. The whole thing of me going to jail those last two times in two weeks in a two week span was because Fred McWilliams has cut a deal with the devil. I'm gonna get him locked up so y'all ain't gotta worry about this ten million dollar lawsuit. But the devil has no power over me. In fact, no weapon that is formed against me can prosper. Fred, but Fred, just like you did not appear and the order of protection was dismissed, I look forward on the 14th to you being in court. Please don't miss this one because when we pick those seven lives apart and the witnesses will be present to pick those lives apart, we're going to move that you are arrested for filing a false police report and for perjury. You may know computers, but I know God. And I read. And the most dangerous Negro in the world is a Negro that can read. We're going to take a commercial break. If... Uh, Edith Sanders said, I pledged $100 on Thursday. I'll definitely bring it in on tomorrow. Edith, now I'm going to be looking for this $100 on tomorrow. I'm, I'm writing your name down here, Edith Sanders. I'm going to commercial break, and while I'm in commercial break, those of you that will pledge and will keep your pledge, Do it during the commercial break. You know my number. You know how to text me. Those of you that's going to give so I can get on with some more business. But if you into the Martin Luther King thing, the we shall overcome, this is what King was about. Not what them niggas was doing today, marching up and down the street. We'll be back after these commercial messages. E. Anthony Productions presents the first annual Father's Day Blockbuster on the Block. It's Sunday, June 19th, 4 p.m. at Greenwood CME Church. Starring special celebrity guest comedian Broderick Rice. This will come down for prayer. Mike Tyson. You'll also see George Dean in the Gospel 4. The Gospel Legends. Daryl Pettis in Take 2. Dr. Andrew Cheers in the Songbirds. Tiffany Tutu AG, Joe Johnson in the Echo Airs, Bishop Kenneth Robinson in Chosen, Sean Jones in the Believers, the Mighty Gospel Warriors, the Kaiser Singers, and Pastor Walter Allen Steen in Blessed. It's the first annual Father's Day Blockbuster on the Bluff. Sunday, June 19th, 4 p.m. at Greenwood CME Church. Tickets are $20 in advance, $25 at the door, $30 VIP, $5 for kids 6 through 12. For ticket information, call 901-338-4134. Or 901-596-8890. Hello, I'm Eric Anthony at EA Productions. I want to see you there. Come experience the Pink Salon. Strands International Hair Company is a full-service salon with a staff of experienced professionals that offers a wide variety of all your beauty needs. Strands offers the finest quality virgin hair extensions from some of the largest temples in South India. Come and purchase your hair bundles today. Purchase the finest hair extensions at Strands. Come experience the Pink Salon today. Strands International Hair Salon, 7730 Wolf River Boulevard. N.H. Owens & Sons Funeral Home, 421 Scott Street, has been a part of the Memphis Binghampton community since 1912, serving with compassion, dignity, and excellence. For over 100 years, we continue to maintain the tradition of an independent, family-owned, community-centered funeral home. During the loss of your loved one, let the professional staff of N.H. Owens & Sons Funeral Home assist you in planning the final arrangements that your loved one deserves. Stop by and see our newly designed showroom. Our showroom offers a large selection of caskets for you to choose from. Our goal is to serve you with compassion, dignity, and excellence during your time of bereavement. 
We also offer a wide selection of cremation services, visitation with cremation, memorial services with cremation, and traditional service with cremation. Contact Ron Taylor and the staff of NH Owen and Sons Funeral Home at 901-324-2116 or fax us at 901-324-2117. Danny Boy Entertainment presents the Memorial Day Weekend Music Festival Sunday, May 29th, 4 p.m. at the stadium in Holly Springs starring the Bad Mamma Jamma, Carl Carlton the legend Bobby Rush, Sir Charles Jones DK Soul, and many more Tickets are $20, $30 week of the show Tickets on sale in Holly Springs at the Smoke Shop SNN Auto Sales in Ashland R&B Soul Food in Como World Class Detail Shop in Senatobia Kiki's Anointed Hand Salon in Olive Branch in Memphis at McLean Motors on Elvis Presley and A1 Auto Sales on Lamar I'm in Family Furniture Outlet. They have two locations that is full of house full of furniture just for you. And before we go further, let me introduce you to the man that you've been doing business with. Adam, what do you have to say? I really I want to say thank you for all my customer and the customer in the future for all this business they give us at Family Furniture Outlet. 90 days same as cash, no credit checks, and you can get anything and everything that you need for your furnishing at home. Family Furniture Outlet located at 3901 Park Avenue at Getwell and 4273 Elvis Presley is the only place in town where you get 18 pieces of furniture. That's right, a house full of furniture for just $17.99. Four-piece queen bedroom set, mattress included, two-piece living room set, five-piece dining set, three-piece coffee table set. No credit is needed. You can get it now. It's March Madness at Family Furniture Outlet where you can get a queen-size mattress set for just $169. At Family Furniture Outlet, they're going to treat you very special. In fact, during the month of March, when you buy that house full of furniture, they're going to throw in accessories like a lamp, like pictures, like a rug, something that's going to make you feel as special as you are. Adam, thank you for doing business on the Thaddeus Matthew Show. And I want each and every one of you to know, if you need furniture and your credit is just tore up from the floor up, then this is the place to go. Family Furniture Outlet, when it's two locations where no credit is needed at all. Well, I'm going to tell you this. The police are necessary. And you may not like the police, but if, in fact, you're going to have the police, then you should want quality officers because if you have not been paying attention to the news Memphis is off the chain that's why we need quality officers she said baby she said I used to talk so bad about the police department all the time I said all y'all did was set up a map code and drink coffee and eat donuts she said, well, babe, I'm going to tell you this. She said, from this day forward, I'm going to keep my mouth off of y'all. Y'all got a hard job. And, and I was glad that she was able to see that, you know, and it gave her a different perspective. Talk about what you think about gun violence in the city, you know, in the city of Memphis or around the world. What the solution, what you think the solution is. That we're going to increase youth activities in this city to draw them out of the streets. And I'm not talking about just playing at it and talking about it. I'm talking about takes. Bullies prey on weakness. When our clients have been injured, they're the most vulnerable. Insurance companies know that and exploit it. Grandma used to always say, you don't have to fight every bully, but every bully needs to know you're willing to fight. We will fight for our clients. Do you understand? Yes, Call us immediately at 901-352-0333. It's that time of year again. It's tax time, and many of you are going to take your tax refund and furnish your home. Well, the place to go is Sherrod's Furniture and Variety, located at 3666 North Watkins, where their living room suits started only $299. Bedroom suits starting at $3.99. And as you furnish your bedroom, don't forget about the little ones. At Sherrod's Furniture and Variety, they have bunk beds with jumbo mattresses starting at just $3.29. At Sherrod's, they even have something that you can have a little fun with around the house. 
Let me tell you about the Fatty Bear Special. You'll receive a complete living room suit, which includes a coffee table and end table, along with two lamps, a five-piece dinette set, and a complete bedroom suit. It's the Fatty Bear Special for just $19.99. After you have purchased your furniture at Sherrod's Furniture and Variety, they can also help you accessorize your home. They have flower arrangements, trees, pictures, comforters, rugs, mirrors, and accent pieces. So during this tax season, if you want to be treated like royalty, then the place to go is Sherrod's Furniture and Variety, 3666 North Watkins, where they have no credit needed and no money down financing. Make your way right now. And thank you so very much. We are back to the baddest talk show in Memphis, Tennessee. If you want to know what's going on in this town, you had better just watch the Thaddeus Matthews show. If you want to know, watch Thaddeus. If you want to grow. Thank you, Big Daddy, uh, Reverend Brian uh, Swearingen. I like this scripture that somebody sent to me uh, from the New Living Testament. Uh, Psalms 41, 1 through 3. All the joys of those who are kind to the poor. The Lord rescues them when they are in trouble. The Lord protects them and keeps them alive. He gives them prosperity in the land and rescues them from their enemies. The Lord nurses them when they are sick and restores them to health. Lord, have mercy. Mm, Lord, I need all that. Uh, Dr. Katrina Sanders. I haven't heard from Moses Tyson. Um, and I do know the saints are in town. I, I walked in catfish cabin this evening, and there was a table full of Kojic preachers there, and the room just got silent. I said, well, hell, maybe they heard. Now, I don't know whether Moses is in town or not, uh, Dr. Sanders, but I am going to uh, give him a call, Dr. Sanders. I uh, mean, uh, Mose Tyson, one of the world's greatest organists, called me last week. Who's, I think he's on the board of trustees for the Church of God in Christ. Wants to do an expose on the corruption in the Church of God in Christ. A lot of corruption going on too. So, um, yeah, the April meeting is going on. Couldn't hardly eat my fish in peace. All the saints. That was in there. I thought Negroes were going to get up there and start talking in tongues around my damn fish. Um, but it's going to be a hell of a show when that happens. I also uh, kind of can't think of Jimerson's name. 
the late Bishop J.O. Patterson, senior son, wrote a book on the Church of God in Christ and how big of a hoe his daddy was, the late Bishop J.O. Patterson, senior, and how he had just babies everywhere. But I'm going to have to, have to get the book and crack it out. See, this is what a whole lot of folk get mad at. It, it's the ex exposés that we do. It's, it, it's just time out for us playing. It's, it's just time out for the plan. Talk about Maddie Wiggly. Madam Magley, Maddie Wiggly, mm -hmm, who's living in the house with uh, Bishop Allison and his wife. Benjamin, that's right, Benjamin Jimerson. Thank you. Uh, ben and I talk from time to time, and uh, uh, I'm on, he's supposed to be coming to Memphis real soon. He lives in California. He deals with movies and stuff, but he was the son. He is the son of the late J.O. Patterson uh, Sr., the presiding bishop of the churches of God. And y'all get hung up on them damn titles. I came out, guy had a little cheap stick on his car, seal of the bishop of the church of God in Christ. Why y'all get hung up on them damn titles? God don't bit more give them a damn about no, y'all titles. He don't. God don't care nothing about your titles. You got a title, but you ain't doing nothing for the people. I ain't had but one preacher to sell him for the give you some money. Okay, one preacher. Why are you pastors at? You, I'm, I'm, I'm talking about you guys that's going to be asking the folk to give you on Sunday morning. Okay? Where y'all at? Well, I, I, I need some money, brother pastors. Where you church folk at? Give me some $50. We got some $50, folks? Because we're going to do this for this child. And 27 years old, she's a child. But where is the church folk? When I spoke of the need, don't y'all raise, what's that, what's that, uh, 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 they say you do know Martin Luther King was a whole monger too. Well, he might have got him some. I, I, I. If if Martin got him a little bit, okay. Okay, Martin might have got him some. I don't know. I was not down the road with it. Brother pastors, brother preachers, can you give right now? Huh? What? What, what, what are deacons and the elders and the choir members at? I see something. Y'all going to put all that money in the ground? Let me tell you something. I went by. Yeah, no, all that's green. No, no wonder it's, in, it's invisible. Um, yeah, but never and over. That's what y'all call it. Oh, uh, y'all used to call it the post saints offering. I need some offering. I need some offerings right now. I got an hour left. I got an hour, but I got to have this money by Wednesday. I got to have this money by Wednesday. And I can't do this tomorrow night. I got another show I'm dealing with on tomorrow night where we exposing somebody on tomorrow night, okay? Uh, I got a lady coming in that's going to expose somebody on tomorrow night's show. You don't, ooh, you don't want to miss tomorrow night's show. But y'all talking about $7,000 for burial and a casket in the burial. Okay. Uh, Memorial Park Cemetery. The cheapest funeral. They got these little packages. And see, we don't understand funerals and we don't understand death. The cheapest funeral, they go from, let's see. You do know the funeral homes have to give you, by law, their price list. They've got the Highland Funeral Service Package. That's uh, one of their expensive funerals. Let me see. It's 22000 Seven hundred and thirty-five dollars. The custom funeral.
package is $19,235. The premium funeral service package, $16,390. And then if you just poke. The poll folk special is $14,535. White people, they getting y'all. Okay? When you walk into the funeral home or you walk into anybody's funeral home, the service charge is the first thing on your funeral bill. When you walk in the door and sit down and say, my people's done died, it's $7,820 that automatically goes on your funeral bill. Okay? That's at Memorial Park. Memphis Funeral Homes uh, goes all the way up to $45,000 for their funeral, for their deluxe funeral. And black folk, y'all upset over three, four, five thousand dollars. You better not, you better be glad you're black, because these white folk get you. The cheapest funeral, fourteen thousand five hundred and thirty-five dollars. That's a cheap funeral at the memorial park. Even when they cremate you, Jesus Christ. The simple Ceremonial cremation package. Where in the service charge, you get the basic service of the funeral director and staff, the removal and transfer of disease to the funeral home if it's within 50 miles, embalming, dressing, and casting, uh, one visitation period, funeral ceremony, a uh, full length website, obituary, and online guest book, transportation to on-site crem on crematory and the Memorial Park crematory fee. That's $7,675. If you want to add an urn to it, you know, to put your little ashes in it, $345. When they get through with everything that you get in the simple cremation package, it's $9,500. If they give you the simple cremation package, I guess they don't turn the fire up as hot when it's on the simple. It's $7,300. They even have receptions. You can even cater food. Uh, don't worry about the repass. You ain't got to go nowhere for the repass. They'll cater your food. Okay. But you don't know anything about the funeral business. That's the reason you end up in the shape that you're in. I need some money, y'all. What's wrong? What's wrong with you? You're not in a giving mood. Tina Hawkins gave while we were in the commercial break. Um, Regina Atkins gave while we were in the commercial break. Think about if this was your particular daughter. What would you do? How much money did y'all waste giving in the church yesterday? Ooh, and I'm talking about in them churches that ain't doing nothing. I ain't talking about churches that got various ministries and various programs in, in the church. I'm talking about those churches where you go to and they hoop and holler on a Sunday morning, pull their ear, throw the handkerchief in there, hoop and holler at you, keep you there until almost 3 o'clock when it's time for the second money raising program. How much did you give yesterday? Okay. How much did you give yesterday? 
and my phone ought to be jumping. My phone ought to be jumping right now with those of you that want to give. You ought to be texting me right now at 949-3000. You ought to be texting me right now saying, I want to give. I'm going to come by your office tomorrow or I'm going by N.J. Ford and Son's funeral home on tomorrow. Lenora, thank you for your 50. Come on. A tragedy, man. And I'm not going to do this for everybody that died. Now, you know, because some of y'all been all in my inboxes about folk that done died. You want me to put screens on your house, send your children to college, and all that. We, 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 no, no, no. But this is a tragedy. This is a tragedy. Tammy. Brooks, $50. Come on. I need to raise $7,000 real quick so I can go ahead on. I ain't got, but I got officially uh, less than one hour right now. Think about if it was your baby. Think about that. Think about if it was. Somebody, was that in my inbox? Uh, I wish y'all text it. Wherever you want to send it to my inbox, y'all can. But think about it. And look at what white people paying for a funeral. All they'll bury black folk too. If you got the money, they will. If you got the money, they'll bury you too. Whew. I got somebody to call me. I got another show we gonna, we're putting in together about what's going on in some of these nursing homes. Cheryl Williams, $50. Okay. Um, and how people are being left. A lady contacted me today um, that works in one of these places. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Ooh. Sheila Martis, $100. Marcella Smith will drop another donation off tomorrow for his family. Thank you, brother. How, how much are you going to drop so I can put it in my figures? Uh, don't be calling me about no program freezing. That ain't even my concern right now. Whoever you are that lives or one box there, I'm not concerned about that. I'm looking at my pretty self right here on the TV, right in here, and this TV, and ain't nobody else said anything. Reginald and Carolyn Taylor, $50. Oh, Krista Smith, them, another $50. Uh, Sheila Martis wants me to come to her office to pick up the $100. Girl, I don't even know where that street is. Where that street at? Okay. Um, come on. Anybody else? Oh, I, I, I need some more money. Preachers. Where the preachers at? Gerald? Y'all be begging Sunday morning. Oh, what a man. Rob God, <laughs> why don't you come? We need some new light bulbs. Yes, we need another mouse trap. Yeah, so right now, will you come? Come on. This child, and the funeral will be Saturday. The time has not um uh, been said now hopefully tomorrow I'll be able to tell you the time but it, the film is going to take place this Saturday at NJ Ford and Sons funeral home NJ Ford and Sons uh, funeral home uh, 
Latasha, the link did come to me. I'll just have to see about that. Somebody sent me a link to the, to the bank. Uh, I'll have to see about that when I get off the air. Thank you, Dolly, so much for that, though. Uh, we are in the midst of taking care of the funeral arrangements of Veronica McGee. We need about $4,000 left. That's all. You were so gracious. Many of you kept your pledges from Thursday night. I didn't hit it a lot on Friday night because of the blues show. Um, and we received a little bit over $3,000 that all the money is at N.J. Ford and Sons Funeral Home. If you want to go by N.J. Ford's and drop the money off, you can do just that. Um, if you want to come by my office, 33, put it up there for the peoples. He had to write it. Spill all. Oh, you got it still in there? I want the address, doofus. Okay. Get the address. Doofus going to get it right in just, in, 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 in just a minute. Uh, okay, I got you. Sheila Martise, please call me in the morning and remind me um, of that. And I, I'll come by there when I leave home in the morning. Ain't real far from there. Can I get, can I? How long you been here? Uh, 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 your mind gone. 33. That's 33. 33.85 Airways. That's all you needed. That's the whole damn thing. It's three, yeah. 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 I'm hopeful that I don't have to do this. Because this takes a whole lot of energy out of me. But it's necessary. We, you know, because see, some of y'all waiting for other folk to take care of us. Cut this off when you get a chance to, uh, man. Uh, some of y'all waiting for white folk to do for us. Okay? Some of y'all waiting for white folk to do what we supposed to be doing for ourselves. We need to be doing for ourselves. But you just think you're entitled. You know, I'm supposed to get something for nothing. I ain't supposed to work on no job. Then you're supposed to be in the state that you're in. This young lady most likely could not get insurance. Been battling lupus for 12 years, was in a wheelchair. Why are you calling me doofuses? Okay, you just want to, you know, I'm not taking no calls. I'm only dealing with this tragedy, and I was hoping that I didn't have to deal with this tragedy all night long, and was hopeful that people would just take it down, that people would just automatically want to help, that you just automatically wanted to be the part of somebody. Why are you calling me? Hello. Why, are you, why are you dialing my number? At 425-2740. Why are you calling me? Are you just trying to be annoying? Well, if you got, do you have some money that you want to give, baby? Huh? Do you have some money you want to give? Then, baby, you need to. Well, did, I, did I tell you to call me on my damn phone? Is that what? Are you listening? Damn! Don't be stupid, black people. I didn't tell you to call me. I said text me. 
If you have a donation along with your name, don't call me because I don't want to talk to you. This is about business. This is about helping somebody. When are we people going to even get start practicing that thing that we call intelligence? Okay? When are y'all going to start doing that? You want to be playful. That's the reason the black community is in the shape that it's in. Um, my, ooh, let me get this name. Uh, let's see. Madiria and Shay Hart. Girl, y'all better get, uh, I'll be trying to use names. Mosby family. Thank you, Marcus. $50. Why are you playing on the phone? Huh? And this is the black folk. That's the reason when they shoot your ignorant asses down, in the street, I don't do no show on you. I'm talking about you thugs now, you guys that want to be tough. This is the reason I don't. Because you've set up yourselves in a mindset of playfulness and chaos. The reason that so many of you are dying is because of your own mindset. You know, let me tell you something. All these damn meetings that they want to have is it's crazy. Talk about violence. We what we're gonna do about violence in the street. What can we do in Memphis? Have some programs where you deal with the mindset of people. Police can't do this. I'm I'm sorry. Jim Strickland can't do a damn thing. And you can't pray your way out of this. Faith without works is dead. What is the black church doing besides on your knees? Get off your damn knees. We'll stand up and do something. Be in the community. Educate your people. Quit every Sunday trying to talk about he died. Okay, we know he died, but he got up. When you going to get your damn asses up? When, ooh, y'all don't need to let me have no church because this is the way I be preaching on Sunday morning. When you going to get your ass up and do something? They got a, the children that were burned up in Covington, Tennessee. You got to have a go fund for that? Where is the damn black church? I'm sorry. See, this, this stuff pisses me the off. Covington, Tennessee, what was it, two or three babies that got burned up in the house. And y'all got to have a go fund account? What is the black church doing in many instances? Not all of them. Other than taking your money. You got a building fund to build a building, but you don't want to build lives. You don't want to build families. You don't want to build communities. Two two zero one zero nine. So whatever the f I get ready. If you don't like it, change your mother, father, and channel right now. Cause I'm dealing with black issues. Yeah, they know how to text. Hell, get your children to text. Y'all still got your children living in your damn house with you anyway. Black church and doing something. Then some of y'all got to say, I don't like that against Matthews. I don't give a damn if you don't like me. Kiss my ass and call it sweet. I don't give a damn whether you like me or not. Your liking me don't send me to the bank and it don't make no turret either. So damn, I don't give a damn whether you like me. If the black church was doing what I'm doing now, I can sit here and talk about some other issues, but I got to do what the church has got to do. It's supposed to be doing. You take your money and talk about tithes and offerings. Bring it to the stove house. 
When the hell y'all going to take it out the damn storehouse and do something in the damn community? Oh, you don't want to do that. You don't want to do that. You, you know, no, 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 no. You, 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 you don't want to do that. Mm, mm, mm. I, I, I didn't mean to have to do this tonight. But this is more important than talking about some of this mess that's going on in this city. We done killed over 60 folk this year thus far. They're comparing us per capita. We're we killing more folk than Chicago. Why is black folk so angry? But y'all want to pray. Let us pray. Father God, tonight, in the name of Jesus, stop the violence. Don't let the robber rob. That's what the robber do. That's the job of the robber, is to rob. But when you're going to change his mindset, when are you as parents going to take responsibility for that which you got coming up out your ass? When are you going to start taking responsibility for it? When you going to quit giving your children everything? I, I, I give my child a hundred dollars for every eight. Well, some of you ain't never wor got to worry about getting a hundred dollars. You paying him to bring good grades for himself. Uh huh. My pastor was talking yesterday morning, and I wish I had a sword too. The other morning, Saturday morning. You what's the minimum wage? $7.25 an hour with Negroes down on Warfoot standing in line at 2 and 3 o'clock in the morning to buy some damn Air Jordans. $250 for some tennis and your ass making $7.25 an hour. You the damnedest fool on the planet. You spending $250 for $10 worth of leather. Damn fool. $250 and miss your house note, miss your Memphis like ass and robbery bill, miss your car note, miss putting some food in your refrigerator for some damn tennis. The mindset of the Negro is a terrible thing. And you Negroes want to mod. Bullshit. Yeah, I said it. That's exactly what it is. You marching? For what? Martin Luther King, we shall overcome. When is a Negro in America, in Memphis, in Shelby County, when you gonna overcome? When you get up off your ass, go get a job, quit waiting for the white man to do something for you. I need some money, y'all. I need some more money. I bet. Who was in town for that? I ain't even looked at the news today for, for no Martin Luther King Day. You know what Martin Luther King died for black people. What wrong would remember him by marching? I know it's not going to change anything. I bet white people ain't going to stop going to Graceland or they not going to talk about they white hero like Nigga do same. I understand me. I ain't got no damn hero. My Luther King ain't my hero. I'm sorry. My Luther King was not my hero. I don't give a damn whether white folk go to Graceland or not. I ain't never been to Graceland. I passed by it going to Piccadilly. I ain't never wanted to go in Graceland. But white folk ain't begging in this country like we're begging. They're not begging in Memphis like they're begging. They don't go to church and say all oh, damn day. What we marching for? 
You Negroes want a damn, and see, you got to be a damn fool at 216-3328. You a damn fool. What the hell you going to march for? And niggas still killing niggas. Martin King don't need you march for him. He dead. He ain't never coming back. But y'all want to march. You don't want to make a difference in society. You just want to march for Martin Luther King because he died. He didn't die for black folk. I bet you if you had to ask somebody if he wanted to die, he'd have told you, hell no. Um, but I'm sorry, Martin Luther King is not my hero. Let him be your hero. You, you, you just need a hero in your life. The creator is the only hero I got. A ain't none of you Negroes no hero because what the hell you Negroes doing to change anything? Hell. Martin Luther King ain't free Shh. nothing. Martin Luther King died. He tried to lead you niggas, but you niggas didn't want to act right. You wanted to go, you thought that freedom was going to the same schools with white folk. You thought that freedom was going to the same bathroom with white folk. You thought that freedom was closing up your own black businesses, going to white folks' businesses. You thought you was white. White folk don't give a damn about you. You want to worship somebody dead, but don't give a damn about the living. And some of you Negroes talking weren't even alive when Martin Luther King was, was here. I wasn't but eight years, let me see, eight, nine years old. And you want to mind. Look, man, let me talk to this silly-ass nigga here. Silly-ass nigga, answer the phone when I call you. Plug it up so I can talk to a silly-ass nigga on a Monday night. Go ahead. Let me let me hear you. What's, first of all, what's your name, sir? Robert. Robert who? Robert Jones. You you just made up the Jones part, didn't you, Robert? Yep. Why you why you why you can't be real, brother? If you believe in what you're saying and you want to talk to me, why can't you be real about I'm what you're real? Why? I asked you a question, brother. This is my show. I control this. Damn that and Martin Luther King. Martin Luther King don't control this. Okay? I control this. Why you got to be fake, brother? Why can't you give your real name? That ain't what I'm called. You ain't what no, 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 no. Why, why, are you scared to be who you are? Brother, see, so, so then my little king living don't mean a damn thing to you because you're a false-ass nigga. You, you scared to even say who you are. You just want to have something to get on me about. No, sir, I ain't got one to have. I don't give a damn about you in the womb you came out of, brother. I don't give a damn about you. So, but you, you come to me and tell me about Martin Luther King. I want to talk about Martin Luther King. You understand me? Who gives a damn of whether Martin Luther King was marched for the day? I don't give a damn. What you marching for? What about him? That man right there died for you. He ain't died for me, nigga. Is you crazy? Martin Luther King ain't did a damn thing for me. Martin Luther King didn't die for me. Martin Luther King would get playing games. You a damn liar? Martin Luther King will get them designer suits. No, 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 sir. Martin Luther King ain't about a damn thing I got on. These, these, on your these shoes I got on right here, these, was, this is a cheap pair for about $200. Martin King ain't, didn't go to the store with me. I didn't see his dead ass at the store with me. He didn't go to the store, brother. I didn't see Martin Luther King at the store. 
If he me and you the same age. No, I don't give a damn. Hell, that's your mama's fault. That ain't my fault. No, but you don't know, talk about Martin Luther King. I can say whatever I want to say, brother. So I can say, what the hell Martin Luther King do for you? Made me realize what I fight to be What you fighting for, brother? I'm not, you you scared to even you scared to even give your real name. So he Martin Luther King must have made your ass a coward, nigga. But see, Martin Luther King, my real name ain't got nothing to do with it. Yes, it do. Like Cause that. I'll tell anybody. I'll stand on the damn yeah. top of the mountain. Thaddeus Augustus Matthews is my name, and I don't give a damn about what you think about it. You scared to be free, nigga? You scared to be? No. You you scared to talk I'm to me and tell me your real name? No. You think that somebody else gonna find out you a damn fool? No, I ain't got nothing to do with no damn fool. I'm a way long way from that. You, you don't sound like you. You a way long way. Look like you're real close to being a fool to me. So you ain't but tell me, brother, what you do for a living? What I do for a living? Yes, sir. I don't do nothing but make some money. That's it. What you do, brother? What do you do for a living? Man, I, got, I, I make money all kinds of ways. Ain't no, no. no. What, what's your legal way of making money? No, my nigga ain't making me. I'm telling you what I do. I'm a tailor. And I'm a designer. I'm a tailor. I'm what? A, you a tailor? What, tailor. What, what's the name of your shop, brother? I might want to come and get some of these suits tailor. and get Martin Luther King to pay for it. Man, I can tailor make you a suit so dog on cold, man. What's the, name, what's, the name, what's the name of your store, brother? That is not the show. What's the name? What's, brother, what, brother, brother, what's the name of your tailor shop? What's the name of your tailor shop? My house, tailor shop. Oh, nigga, you ain't got no tailor shop. <laughs> nigga, you ain't got shit. Stop. Nigga, you ain't got no tailor shop. You flodging, nigga. You flodging fake ass, ass nigga. You, you, you won't even give your own damn name. Punk ass, coward ass, nigga. You, you. Martin Luther King. Martin Luther King set you up in the tailoring business. Martin Luther King bought you some thread and some needles and a sewing machine. No, I was the worst time me and my tail was being with the pillar farm in 1976. The pillar farm? Yeah. You stole the folks folk stuff at the pillar farm? Uh, when I went into the pillar farm to do some time and tell me doing something bad, I went in there and did some upholstery and learned how to sew and came out and did my thing. So you know how to make a couch? I know how to fix a couch. I know how to I know What's the name of your tailor? Everything. Where your tailoring shop at, brother? As a brother? matter of fact, I'm going to have my son on your show. No, you ain't going to have your son on my show. No, I'm going to pay you, though. Doc, do you know how much it costs you for your son to appear on my show to advertise? That's what I'm talking about. Why are you always going to ask a black man every time how much it costs? If a white man come up to you, you ain't White man got to bring me some money, too. Yo, yo, white man got to bring me some oh, money, too. You nigga, you, th you. nigga you, you think I'm going to bring your stupid oh, ass on my oh. show for real, for free? Nigga, if you ain't got $1,000 to talk about promoting your business, you can't come on my show. $1,000 for one show. Yes, sir. Come on, come on. You advertising, brother. Thank you you. advertising. You won't fuck about it. You, you bring me my 1000 and you don't come. Oh. You bring me a th if the white man tells you to bring him a thousand dollars, yes, sir, Mr. White Man, I'd be glad to bring you a thousand dollars and be on your show. Well, I don't need you on my show, brother. See, I don't deal with white man no more. I deal with that long. You, I bet you're a lying ass. I bet you're a lying ass. I deal with that. No you don't deal with white folk no kind of way. If everybody know me, they know me. You don't deal with white folk at all. You understand me? You don't deal with white folk at all. I'm Wait a minute, I'm ig ignorant ass nigga. You don't deal with white folk at all. Nigga, you don't deal with white folk at all. No. What you drive? No. What you drive? A 1989 Toyota. Toyota? Yeah. What? Well, damn, the Chinese people made that. I know it. You ask me what I drive. Why you buy? Where you buy the gas at? At the uh, gas station. Who do black man on the gas station? I don't know who owns them. Yeah, wait a minute. Yeah, wait a minute. Do the black do the black man own the yeah. gas station? When you go buy your thread, who you buy your thread from? I might go to uh, I might go to uh, Milano's. I might go to Milano's. So you going with the white people? You? You, the the white people? Where'd you get your sewing machine from? Man, come on, man. I'm, act, I'm asking you. Say you don't deal with white folk white? in no kind of way, I ignorant ass. Understand. I'm white. asking you. White. You say you don't deal with the white people no kind of way. Where the hell you get? Hey, white people don't own that White folks don't own it. 
No. The, they attack and say it's close to being white. Is, oh, is, is, is there a black man you can yeah. go get your thread from? What's the black man that you go get your thread from? A black man I can get my thread from? Yeah. I go to Milano's. Milano's ain't selling thread, brother. Sometimes I go to Jimmy. Okay, I go to Jimmy sometimes. They don't, they don't sell thread at Jimmy's. Okay. I go Jimmy to don't sell. Or Sir, Jimmy don't sell thread, brother. He sells suits that he get from I, white folk. I go to Greg's where Billy worked there off of Greg's is white folk, brother. The born blooms on them. Along with a black man in there. Sir, suit. come on, brother. Come on, brother. Okay. See, don't see who who look. Let me let me ask you this, brother. Where do you buy your groceries at? Where I buy my groceries? Yes, sir. I used to put them in my backyard and go me a garden. But nigga, now. get your flogging ass. Get your <laughs> flogging ass off my phone. Ignorant ass niggas. So you niggas praising the dead. What you doing about living? Nigga, please. I don't deal with white folk. Okay, nigga. All right, take me to commercial break. We'll be right back. I, hey, wait a minute. Before we go, I need y'all while we're doing to the... Going through the commercial break, I need some money. We need to bury this black woman, not have to go to black white folk to do what we need to be doing for our own people. We'll be back. I'm going to jail. Dial Star Star Bail. I can't stay in jail. Dial Star Star Bail. Dial Star Star Bail on your mobile phone to reach United Bonding Company for fast, courteous, discreet bail bond service in the greater Memphis area. How did he get out? I called United Bonding Company. Star Star Bail. Come and visit us. Shop and save. 1499 3rd Street. The best soul food in Memphis. In the zone, Julia Brown. I'm down here at the Shop and Save at 1499 South 3rd with my new girlfriend, Myra. Say hi to the people, Myra. Hey, how y'all doing? Myra can't cook, so I have to get up every morning about 5 a.m. and go on down there to Shop and Save and get myself some breakfast. Where I get myself some two eggs, toast, and biscuits. I get me some salmon crow cats, some chicken, some gravy, some bacon, some turkey, some good old coffee. And if you ain't got a woman that can't cook, you need to make sure that every morning you go down to shop and save. You know they open at 5 a.m., but by 9 o'clock, you can get yourself some lunch. They got a different menu every day. They can get you some ham hocks. They can get you some barbecue turkey legs. They got spaghettis. They got got Nick Bones. They got pigtails. In fact, any damn thing you want out the Soul Food Kitchen, you can get it at Shop and Save. Again, they're at 1499 South 3rd, right there between Parkway and Maclemo. Mom and I don't have to walk too far no more to get some good eating at Shop and Save, 1499 South 3rd. Oh, here come that fat ass Myra Lawler. And he got his ugly ass wife with him. You know, if they come on down here, maybe AC can fatten himself up too. Shop and save. Make his best soul food. Shop and save. 1499 South 3rd. Come down. Do it. Shop and save. It's tax season, and if you are in need of a mattress, no matter what size it happens to be, you know that the only place that you need to go is Sleepy Z's by Mike Zelder, where you can save 50 to 80% on any name brand mattress. Everyday deals, overstock, discontinued, and special buys. No credit is needed. Financing is available. 90 days, same as cash. Sleepy Z's has an A-plus rating with the Better Business Bureau and in 2015 won the Commercial Appeals Memphis Most Best Mattress Store. Remember, they offer no credit needed financing, 90 days, same as cash. Sleepy Z's mattresses by Michael Zellner, where you can save 50 to 80% off mattresses every day of the week. 
layaway, and delivery are available too. Sleepy's Ease carries the number one mattress brand in America, Serta, and several other brands as well. Don't forget to ask them about the Fatty Bear Tax Season Special. It's amazing. Any mattress purchase of just $499 or above, and you'll receive a free mattress protector, free set of 1,200-count microfiber bed sheets, and a package of two free memory foam pillows. That's Michael Zellner's Sleepy Z's, 2790 Kirby Wind Road at the corner of Summer Avenue, next door to Hollywood Feed. They're open 10 to 7, Mondays through Saturdays, and 1 to 6 on Sundays. At Connect Auto, located at 3760 South Mendenhall, we offer the very best in wheel alignments with state-of-the-art equipment starting at just $50. Our technicians are friendly professionals. That And personal goals are all placed on hold until you post bail and are released. At Memphis Bonding Company, we understand that you're going through enough. That's why we try to make it as easy as possible. Memphis Bonding Company offers exceptional customer care. The difference is the way you're treated. We provide bail bonds for those in need and will ensure that you're satisfied with our services. We are right around the corner from 201 Poplar with free parking for our clients. Memphis Bonding Company, fast, courteous, and... Danny Boy Entertainment presents the Memorial Day Weekend Music Festival. Sunday, May 29, 4 p.m. at the stadium in Holly Springs. Starring the bad man Jamma, Carl Carlton, the legend Bobby Rush, Sir Charles Jones, D.K. Soul, and many more. Tickets are $20, $30 week of the show. Tickets on sale in Holly Springs at the Smoke Shop. As and then auto sales in Ashland, R&B Soul Food in Como, World Class Detail Shop in Senatobia, Kiki's Anointed Hand Salon in Olive Branch, in Memphis at McLean Motors on Elvis Presley, and A1 Auto Sales on Lamar. E. Anthony Productions presents the first annual Father's Day Blockbuster on the Block. It's Sunday, June 19th, 4 p.m. at Greenwood CME Church. Starring special celebrity guest comedian Broderick Rice. This will come down for prayer, Mike Tyson. You'll also see George Dean in the Gospel 4. The Gospel Legends. Daryl Pettis in Take 2. Dr. Andrew Cheers in the Songbirds. Tiffany Tutu AG, Joe Johnson in the Echo Airs, Bishop Kenneth Robinson in Chosen, Sean Jones in the Believers, the Mighty Gospel Warriors, the Kaiser Singers, and Pastor Walter Allenstein in Blessed. It's the first annual Father's Day Blockbuster on the Bluff. Sunday, June 19th, 4 p.m. at Greenwood CME Church. Tickets are $20 in advance, $25 at the door, $30 VIP, $5 for kids 6 through 12. For ticket information, call 901-338-4134. Or 901-596-8890. Hello, I'm Eric Anthony at EA Productions. I want And thank you. Let me let me let me share something with you.
Martin Luther King may have been a great man, but he was not my hero. I have no human man that is my hero. I will acknowledge your greatness and the great things you've done. But Martin King is dead. What are you going to do alive? We got some live problems in the African-American community. Them Negroes that was in town today, the Jesse Jacksons and the Biddy Cows, them the niggas that killed Martin King. He didn't die just for black folk. He died for equality. Let me, let me give you something else out of the civil rights movement. <laughs> yes, it got you in schools with the white folk. It got you into the bathroom with the white folk. You can flush the same toilet that the white people's flushed. But what did it do up for economic empowerment in our communities? We had more black businesses during that time. than we have now. You wanted to be white. You wanted to put the conk in your hair. You, you wanted to bleach your hair blonde. You wanted to perm in your hair. You wanted to give up the natural state because you took on the persona of the white man. The white man was smarter than you. The white man understood that when you started talking about all you wanted to overcome, we're going to the mountaintop, and he found out that you wanted to become consumers and not entrepreneurs, entrepreneurs. The white man, the Arab, the Mexican, and everybody else capitalized off of your mindset. You hated each other so that you took on and you wanted to be white. You, 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 you don't think that nobody can do nothing for you, but white folk. That you quit <coughs> investing in who you are. I know some of you say, oh, you shouldn't be talking about Martin Luther King like that. Ain't nothing that Martin Luther King can do for me right now. Ain't nobody, there's nothing that nobody can do to lift me up but me. There's nobody that can do nothing to lift you up but you. If you're so concerned about the legacy of Martin Luther King, you stop killing each other. This madness about Black Lives Matter is madness. It's rhetoric, it's, it's a slogan, it's, it's politics, it's emotional. But if black lives matter, we stop killing each other, we stop taking black lives. We wouldn't be so angry at each other that we take each other's life for nothing. We wouldn't be riding up and down the expressway and you get mad, you get so mad because somebody cut in front of you that you take out your gun and you start to shoot them, if black lives matter. It don't matter. It's politics. It sounds good. It's emotional. It takes you on this emotional high. And I'm not going to sit here and play the game. I'm not, I'm not going to go along with the, the black agenda. Because the black agenda should be educating our people. The black agenda should be motivating our people to get up off their ass and do something for themselves. You want to take all your money to the church that ain't doing nothing in your community. 
And again, that's not every church. That's most of them in our community. The preacher that wants to run and jump and hoop and sweat, you ain't doing a damn thing, my brother, but fooling the people. So many of you have been sucking the titty of the government so long that the titty milk done turned to pallet milk. But you just keep on sucking. You got dust all around your damn mouth. But you keep on sucking because you think somebody owe you something and you get mad when somebody like me that look like you tell you, I don't give a damn about your poverty state if you want to be in poverty. But if you're in poverty and you want to pull yourself up, brother, then let's talk about the things that it takes to empower ourselves as a people and get up. We wait and we sitting back. When I look at this tonight, we've raised $1,190 tonight. Black folk, but you want to march for Martin Luther King. It's a shame. All you civil rights Negroes. Not one politician contributed to this child. Had it been election time, they would have turned it into a political, they'd have gave out of their political fund to make it look good. but you give a damn about black folk. Can you call in for what? What you calling in for? I'm about out of time. Why aren't we concerned about each other. Then you get mad when the white man won't do for you. I don't blame that white man. You won't do a damn thing for yourself. I appreciate N.J. Ford and his sons. They buried the two-year-old for nothing. You can't expect N.J. Ford to do it twice. They're in business. Cut this hair off me if you don't mind, Gerald. What you going to do? What you going to do? You going to keep on just talking about being black. Only one black preacher. And he gave last week and he's given again. He don't want his name called. What you gonna do? Somebody text Sandy's man why don't you pay the rest? Why should I have to? Mm -hmm. 
Why should I have to do it? So you're going to just sit back. Black lives matter. Ain't nothing you black lives matter for gay, nothing. <clears throat> Ain't none of you churches or you organizations, you community organizations, gay, nothing. Ain't none of you politicians, gay, nothing. We raised, and this film is even less than the other one. And this family has been forever grateful. I hear from them. They text me and they, they're thankful people. But we are pitiful people when we can't take care of ourselves. When we can't take, and then some of you same Negroes are spouting that Martin Luther King stuff. It take a village to raise. It take a village to raise. A community to raise a village, however that madness goes. But you don't want to raise nobody yourself. Two seven three three one ninety ninety two. Wants to know about the fifteen ninety five special. That's only one funeral home. I didn't get in the funeral home part of it. I left that to the family. I learned from the last that uh, I ain't getting in the funeral homes situations no more with no families. No. To the business that owed me the three thousand dollars, I'm filing paperwork in the morning. Didn't get a chance. I slept late this morning. Got my yard cut. I don't promote rap mixtapes, so you can't pay me for that. I don't do that to the person that's doing that. I don't promote rap mixtapes. That ain't what I do. But the black church, yeah, Jaquilla, I need you, baby. You can bring another donation. Superior Staffing, which gave a hundred dollars, needs one hundred full and part-time workers for upcoming jobs. They need general cleaning employees, pickers and packers, and Scanner operators, secretaries, forklift drivers. Forklift certification is available. But you must pass a background and a drug test. Must have reliable transportation and two form of state IDs. Oh, well, what you, can you do? I need a job. Get up off that ass. You can walk in. Please could bother me about the damn a uh, rapper, if the rapper got a thousand dollars and he want to do a hook on my show, that's what it costs a thousand dollars. Now, don't bother me until you got the thousand, okay? You can walk in Mondays through Thursdays from 1 to 4 p.m. at 4466 Elvis Presley Boulevard, Suite 202. That's 4466 Elvis Presley, Suite. Uh, 206 or give them a call at 614-9898 hey your your roof your look your roof your roof leaking uh you need a new roof or just shingles replaced your insurance company has sent you a check and it's not enough for repairs your home or roof failed at an insurance inspection and you were denied insurance or renewal your roof is over 15 years, or you simply just don't have the money for repairs. Well, you need to call Raphael Scott. Let me give you this number. I'm going to give it to you twice so you can get it right. So y'all don't be texting me 
at 8 o'clock in the morning asking me for nobody's number because I don't know nobody's number at 8 o'clock in the morning. 691 691-1337. 691-1337. And ask him about the senior citizens. You got to be over 65 years old. The 65 plus senior citizen uh, on a fixed income payment plan. Okay. Uh, yeah, they say I'm talking down to black folk when I tell y'all the truth. Well, damn it, if that's what you think it is, that's what I'm going to continue to do. Quit waiting. Okay. Quit worrying me about the damn video for the for the rap folk. If you ain't got the money, then don't bother me. That's my price. It's a thousand. If you want to appear on my show to do a rap anything, it's a thousand dollars, dog. That. Okay, five hundred dollars an hour. That's what it is. Y'all ain't got no problem taking your money to white folk. But when I tell you my price, you a black man. No, I'm a black man in business. Plain and simple. You want to be a star? Act like you want. Plain and simple. I got the audience. You trying to get to the audience, you can't do it for free. When you see folk disappear from my show, that means that they have not paid me. I'm in business. I ain't got the good nigga plan. You can, you run my commercial and pay me late. We don't do it like that. It's business. Business. We've got to learn to treat each other right if we want other folk to treat us right. I don't work for free. I'll help everybody that I can for free. But I don't work for free. If anything is marketed where you going to make some money off of this show, then that is, Matthew, you 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 turn my thing down? Now I got to do it all over again? Gerald. I'm finna, if you should have a damn thing up, doofus, you still ain't got it up. You ain't got it up. Ooh, Lord, thank you for doofus. I'm finna go. Huh. If you want to pay 3385 Airways, Suite 133 is my address. Or you can go by NJ Ford and Sons Funeral Home. Black folk, sometimes y'all can be damn disappointing, but. If you wanna know, I gotta go. I'm the baddest man on TV. I'm gonna tell you like it is. I don't give a damn whether you like it or not. If you get mad at me because I talked about Martin Luther King tonight, kiss my ass and call it sweet. Until tomorrow night, top of the evening to you. You've also turned the world global Bible.